Hey everybody, it's the Cap. It's the 16th of May, 2023, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. Time check, 8.39, so we're six minutes before sunset. Ooh, is what's happening? Ooh. I mean, the sun just went down and everything just got real red. Uh, under underneath the chem cover just the canopy of catastrophe of chemicals and the ever present electric blue sky which is supposed to be getting darker which just gets lighter electric blue at night but it's somewhat of a different tint and people just don't notice I don't know I sure do you got me stuck, boy. I can just hear a troll. Red at night, sailor's delight. Red in the morning, so shut up. Oh, it's just so funny how just the chem... I mean, you can just see how the chem action is so fake. Well, so I was on Super Dave's chat earlier. <laughs> just getting some strength. Frontliner to frontliner. Because a lot of us just... Myself, first and foremost, I'll admit it. I just don't get out here and do this anymore. The wear and tear on my car. Um, the fact that it's always chemmed out. I got up here about six or seven days ago. Well, yeah, that's a week, foe. Um, and there was just nothing. It's just discouraged skies mode. That just, that's funny. That big blob has just been there the whole time. And it was kind of red. I mentioned it in the previous video. And... Uh, so anyhow, I'm on Dave's channel, just gaining strength. Now I see more and more every day why Super Dave's and Dave's Waffle House, why, why those videos, all of our lives, mine included, are just clutch, important. Because look at that streaksies of red loveliness, just the big triangle of, you know, the big acute angled triangle of red. <clears throat> um, because that community, there's something there. I won't even know it and just pop in and I can't help but just get sucked in and want to talk to uh, Carol, uh, Daryl uh, Dalhoun and, and just laugh, have fun, and then learn stuff and, and absorb. And I don't even know it just by being there, by proximity. I start to be like, man, I'm not getting the sky again. So Max Maximus commented to me, seven, clear your mind. talk to this guy like you used to and I just knew that I'd get out here and get something tonight I had faith this is a trip I don't know what that red streak is going all the way from the west northwest to west which is straight down there where all that red is which is just a trip it goes all the way over into the south slash kind of straight up in the sky sorry for the finger y'all I'm left-handed so I'm holding this thing upside down do you know that left people, from what I've heard, have a lower life expectancy than right-handed people? <laughs> Look at the glozy of just who knowsy. Wow. And and the straight-up beam of light going straight up in the sky. Now you see, back in the Steve Olson days, and back in all all of our heyday, back in this, you know 2015, 16, 17, well 16, 17, 18 for me. Uh, that would just be a straight glowing beam of light, you see. But now, the AI fake plastic sky has it to the point where even that is becoming hard to discern if you're not really paying attention for it and looking out for it. And I must say, folks, you can quote me or not on this, but it's, it's just mystical and it's magical and it's real. That to forget to get out here and do this it really takes something from us like you'd be missing a part of yourself and just to have it be a chain of events like okay you know I'm going to hang out with the community today it's my day off I volunteered to work tomorrow I could use the money that's the convergence positive working um, 
And to get encouraged like that, see, now it's dwindling real fast. They know how to kill this stuff so fast now. It's incredible. Yeah, the chain of events, you know, the, the, the link that we all connect with each other. And still you have multiple light sources that are just hanging in the clouds that just get moshed up and just look like clouds as it gets brighter blue straight up in the sky to combat the red. I maintain it. You know, and I didn't used to think this way. I just thought doom and gloom and ancient s s texts and scrolls and flood and war and aliens and whatever. You know, something beautiful is trying to come back. It's revealing itself in the sky, especially to those of us who, who are attuned to it. And something doesn't want that to happen. Look at the big red ball with a skirt of red draped around it. That is a trip to the right of the red glozy. I mean, it's going all the way straight up in the sky now. It literally is going all the way. It just manifests real quick. Oh, I know what I was going to say because I forgot. I covered it real good though. <laughs> You know, Max reminded me to trust my gut. And you can't... <laughs> when I've been getting up here the last couple times, it's, you know, five minutes to sunset. Like I'm going to get something for free. No, you got to give something in return to the universe if it's going to show you this. You know, typically I usually get up here at least half an hour before the show begins. Play me some music. You know, look around at the, at, the, at the geography, the hill, listen to the birds. I just slow down. Think about taking my shoes off and, and walking around in the grass, but I'm part black. I ain't taking my shoes off out here. Been dogs running around, shoe. <laughs> People spitting. Nah. It's like I'm kidding. It's because my bones ache so bad. You know, I, I don't want to do the, the diligence of having to crane over and take my shoes off. I'm going to talk about this live later. Or maybe a, look at the big ball of with the skirt of loveliness. And a big old red glow with something else in tow. Oh no. And just like that it begins to recede. That was just the reflection of something because of all the global stuff and climate. What a, you know, you got me stuck, man. And you got just the big old, big old, big old, you know, perfect, cir you know, circle of cover the sky. I don't know. You got me stuck. You tell me. That was just incredible. Because that wasn't nothing about no pollution. And the red just reaches all over the horizon. It, it just keeps changing and shifting. Yeah, but you can't just show up expecting a freebie. You know, it's almost a religious experience. Because, like I'm saying, I don't just get up here and get it. I realize I got to get up here and get got. I just have to enjoy the hill. Look at the red stretching all over the west into the south. Yep, I got up here and sure enough, I just surrendered to everything around me but the sky. I let it go. You have got me totally stuck. Look at that. Upside down looking Independence Day coming up out the clouds having what? Well, I don't know. It might be a third video tonight because this is something else that I wanted to talk about. The constant covering up of the dragon. The trail or a little grouping of like six or seven or eight 
you know, like red, seriously red objects that I think have something to do with the real sun. The simulator just hides all that up. But look at that line of, of red. How many minutes after sunset? Uh, so, uh, five minutes after sunset. A, ca a cascade of like an army of red circles. A degrees or two south, south of due west. You got me stuck. That's just lights off of the off the racetrack in Kentucky. Shut up. I miss the trolls. I see a thousand warriors and they're coming without horses. The riders, they cover their face So you could not make them out in smoky place They become the midnight ravers Please don't let me down Night life that is just a trip, boy. That just looks like a red army of, like, spirits clawing their way to their destiny and to ours, too, no matter what they throw at us in the fake sky.